Jesse Abwaja coming to you live and direct. And today we have a first impressions video. Let's get into it. So full disclosure, before we get it on and popping, I wanna be honest and upfront with you. I reached out to the company for this, Libertine Fragrances. Came across them on Instagram, reach out to them. They're actually a Canadian brand. So I reached out to the Parfumé, Joshua, I believe is his name. And yeah, told them I'll, I'll be interested in sampling it, you know, checking out the line for a review. It's an indie house, so they were kind to send me this. So thank you very much. Now, with that being said, my opinion can be bought. This is, um, this is my honest opinion on these. Honest take, I mean, they sent me this. Thank you very much, but that won't influence my opinion on it. I'm gonna be as honest as possible, you guys know. I don't lie about anything. So yes, with that being said, let's take a look at these. Liberty Fragrances was started by um, Joshua, I believe. And uh, this was in a response to not being inspired by what's out there on the market. From their, from their webpage, that's what I'm getting. And these are creative expressions, as he calls them. So let's take a look. So in here, you have seven sample vials, as you can see. Now these come with cards too. So a card for each scent. And this is, the presentation is pretty neat on these, to be honest. And there we have it, there are the cards. And um, on the back of them, you have the description of the scent, the notes and the place to spray. And to be honest, when I first got these and sprayed them on the cards, you can smell the quality in these. And you know what? Not all of these scents are for me. I like two out of the seven scents a lot. Some are okay, but not all of these are for me, but I'm sure there's something for everybody in here. So um, actually let's dig into them. Let's get my thoughts on these. Um, I've already sprayed them on the cards, but you know what? I'll respray it on my skin this time. So. Let's um, take a look. Let's start with soft woods. So for soft wood, it has the notes of black pepper, juniper berry, balsam fair, woody notes, rose de may, frankincense, and bourbon vanilla. Now, I've already sprayed the card uh, when I first got these scents earlier in the week, but um, let me go ahead and spray it on my skin, like I said. So on my skin right now, I'm getting a bit of um, the berries and the incense. Yeah, but on the card here, I have the dry down and here I get I get some of the vanilla, some somewhat of a boozy vanilla, some maybe boozy vanilla, and um, yeah, the roast isn't coming out that much to be honest. But again, like I said, all of these scents, even if you don't like them, you could tell you could you could appreciate the quality of them to be honest. And yeah, I'm sure there's something for somebody in all of these. This one particularly, I'm not that crazy over. It's it's a good scent, just not for me to be honest. And I think the incense in it, I'm not a big incense fan. The frankincense and um, yeah, not. Not that crazy over it, but decent scent on the list. So yes, that's it for soft woods. Next up, we have sweet grass. And this right here is my favorite from the line, hands down, to be honest. I've worn this a couple of times, got great performance for it. Very, very gorgeous scent, to be honest. Really, really enjoy it. I mean, I got a smile on my face. Come on, this, this is amazing. Now for the notes of these, we have Boletus. Never heard of it, to be honest. I'll keep it a buck with you. Don't know what that is. I'm probably gonna look it up later. Mimosa flower. Fresh hay, tonka bean, the tonka note in this is gorgeous. Pipe tobacco and golden sunshine. Now, how Josh was able to bottle sunshine, I don't know, but hey, it works for this. I'm not mad at this. It's supposed to be like, you know, a creative expression and you know, it's supposed to take you to a place. So I can feel that if he was able to bottle sunshine, I'm not mad at it. But this scent right here, amazing. Very, very gorgeous. Um, let me spray it on my skin. I have it down here, but I'll spray it on my skin so I can, you know, give it to you live. As we're going, mm, off the bat, you get you get the hay, you get the hay and the floral notes, and the tonka bean starts coming in once it's starting to dry down a bit. But it is amazing, very very gorgeous. But off the bat, you get the hay, you get the hay note. Now I was wondering, man, will I really like smelling like hay? But this is done very well, very very sophisticated scent, amazing amazing scent. To be honest, um, do yourself a favor, pick up the. Um, the sample pack and check these scents out and you know what don't take my word for it check it out if you're interested in something different something in a different direction something new this sweet grass scent to be honest it does it for me now these are priced at um these are priced at um 120 bucks for 30 ml my yeah it seems a bit steep to be honest um they have 10 ml they have 10, 10 mls for 56 bucks and a sample pack for 40 dollars so i mean might be a bit pricey but to be honest this is an indie house. I believe it's a one-man operation. So, if I really like a scent, I'll, I'll you know I'll go out of my way to support it. It's this is a good scent. I get amazing performance. I think I got around like eight hours when I when I wore it. Second time, I think around seven hours. But it's it's hot as shit out here right now. So, great great scent. Um, yeah. Now I'm getting a bit of the tonka bean. The pipe tobacco I don't get much of to be honest. But great scent. 
great 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 scent really really like it the tonka bean note in it is gorgeous and the mimosas flower there's a flower component to it too right so it's an amazing scent to be honest if you haven't smelled it go take try and get it get your nose on it um yeah i thought i would hate it because of the hay but the sweeter element in it the floral tonka bean in it it, it kind of you know it balances it out it, it wasn't too hay i should say it, yeah it didn't really smell too grassy or anything like that so really really enjoyed it's a very rich it's a very rich lush scent i should say so really really enjoyed this it's my favorite from the line so i might be waxing poetic going on and on but hey just my opinion so yes that's what we have for sweet grass next up we have troubled spirits the notes for this we have honeyed fruits orange zest the damask rose bourbon oak vanilla amber so let me go ahead and spray it this is a dry down on here i get the amber i get the amber and vanilla but i mean as far as amber scents go you guys know how i feel about grand soir so that's like the golden standard for me for ambers unfortunately i compare every scent to that so um every amber scent to that i should say so yeah off the bat i'm getting i'm getting a boozy note off the top just straight up boozy note so yeah that's probably a bourbon in there boozy notes definitely fruits like dried fruits almost kind of smells like dried fruits but it says honey fruits only here um but on the dry down here i get the i get the amber more maybe a soft vanilla in the back but yeah this is a good one too to be honest this is a good scent too yeah this takes amber and it's a, it's a different element it's like a boozy it has like this boozy opening with the fruits and um yeah dry down you get the amber the amber comes out more it's it's it isn't a resinous amber i would say um but yeah not bad not a bad scent to be honest yeah straight up off the top you get the boozy you get the booziness in there you get the fruits almost like a dried fruits to be honest a bit like um it's not the same i'm not making a comp comparison at all but it's like a bar baraonda esque you know from nasomato i'm getting this like Baraonda esque vibe to it. Not the same scent, but it's, it's, it's sort of in that lane. The opening to this, and but the dry downs on card, so I, I I should just be um I should get let you guys know that. But it's okay, decent scent to be honest. Not my favorite from the line, but it's decent. So trouble spirits, not bad. Next up, we have smoke bloom, and this right here has the notes of bay leaf, apricot, bergamot, osmanthus, smoky vetiver, and creamy sandalwood. Let's take a look right here forearm okay you definitely smell the bergamot in the opening you know a bit slight freshness then straight into the um, again the vetiver in the sandalwood yeah it says smoky vetiver it's a bit there's a bit of smokiness to it uh not for me not for me to be honest but it's definitely different but this one this one's not smoke um smoke bloom isn't for me to be honest uh, yeah, i think a vetiver level would appreciate this or if you like sandalwood like that um this isn't the one but if you've tried smoke bloom let me know let me know in the comments below maybe it's the smoke vetiver um uh, it isn't an earthy vetiver i would say now vetiver i like vetiver when it's like when it's well balanced if it's like an earthy dirty vetiver not for me but this doesn't seem to be that the other elements the other element in it doesn't make it too earthy but i don't know if it's the smokiness but personally no not, not a big fan of this so yes smoke bloom that's the fourth scent i think we have three more left hang in there all right this is a bit long i know but just hang in there with me next up we have eros fig now this is a scent that um i really liked i think it was my second favorite after um sweet grass so yes um uh, Whatever I say sweet grass, I end up smelling my arm. <laughs> smelling my arm. So yes, Edo's fig. Let's um this has notes of mandarin, fig leaf, black currant, dried figs, coconut, sandalwood, benzoin, honey. So this right here I get. I've never had a fig, to be honest. I remember like smelling a fig scent once then the next time i was in a grocery store i saw a fig i kind of literally like took one sniffed it and it seems like a very fresh note is it is our figs refreshing when you eat them I don't, I don't know i've never had one to be honest but um let's yeah this one here is like a fig bomb to be honest you get the fig straight up and if you if you like figs you're really really gonna enjoy this to be honest um let's see the dry down that i sprayed I'm not getting much here to be honest maybe the honey maybe so the benzoin in here it's you know benzoin 
I believe smells like vanilla. Maybe I might be wrong, but I think yeah, benzoin is supposed to like mimic vanilla, so it's supposed to be like benzoin and honey in there somewhere. But off the jump, fig, 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 like almost like a herbaceous, like almost like a herbal element to it. Maybe that's the fig leaf. I don't know. I've never smelled fig leaf. I'm just you know, I'm just assuming. But it's somewhat of an herbal element to it. But um, yeah. It's a fig bomb. If you love figs, you, I mean, if you love fig scents, this is for you. Somewhat refreshing. It's, 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 it's a nice scent, to be honest. Nice scent. It was my second favorite one. I was like, up on first impressions. I like this. So, um, yeah. The coconut. Um, I'm not getting much of the coconut. Maybe I'll let it dry down a bit. But these notes look interesting for sure. Mandarin, fig leaf, black currant. So, somewhat of a sweet element there. Dried figs. Coconut, sandalwood, benzoin, honey. It's a it's a very interesting combination, but off the off the bat, fig bomb. Honestly, you love figs, you're gonna love this. Next up, we have Witch Doctor. Now this right here, it has notes of wormwood, Texas cedarwood, rough leather, birch tar, dark patchouli, smoldering amber. So I'm not getting much from this, but anyways, let's um let's spray it up. Let's take a look at the opening here. Um this I remember was um yes I remember getting a lot of the amber it was like very woody and I got it was very woody and resinous and then I got um a bit of the patchouli in there but yeah this is cool but mm, not my flavor to be honest there is a letter note in there I missed that the first time I don't know I missed the letter note the first time I'm like huh? Not an animalic leather note per se, but it's it's okay. It's decent. If these notes sound good to you, you might like it, but it's eh, it's all right. It's a bit of um the amber is what's strong to my nose here. I get the amber, yeah, the leather is coming out now more. I get the amber woods, some birch. I don't know, it's like a almost smoky birch tar. Well, yeah, maybe that's where the smokiness is coming from. But yeah, it's super resinous with the um, resinous woodsy with um yeah the leather note and you get a yeah yeah not for me not for me to be honest this isn't this isn't for me it's decent actually I had a couple of people try it and they really liked Rich Doctor out of the whole lot they really liked this a lot but so for the seventh and final scent from this line we have Sex and Jasmine now this has notes of Night Bloom and Jasmine Hawaiian sandalwood aged patchouli. Ambergris and vanilla. Now this right here, yeah, this is straight up. It's a lovely floral scent, sweet floral with the vanilla. That's what I. That's what I get. And yeah, it was. Yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Off the top, you're getting the. Um, off the top, you're getting the jasmine in there. Floral notes coming, and in the dry down, the vanilla shines. Now. Some people might think this leans feminine a bit. I don't care, man, to be honest. I don't, I don't do the whole, like, I'm gender fluid when it comes to fragrances. When it comes to fragrances, I'm gender fluid. It doesn't matter. If it smells good for a man or woman, I'll wear it. And I dare you tell me I smell like a woman. I almost benched 315 pounds. Well, yeah, I benched 315 pounds. So good luck telling me I smell like a woman or calling me something funny because I have something that's classified for women on. I'll beat the brakes off you. <laughs> okay, maybe not beat you, but yes. This right here, gorgeous, gorgeous floral scent. Some people might say it leans feminine. I don't care. I like it. If I'm in the mood for something floral, I'll throw it on. Gorgeous scent. So yes, sex and jasmine, you get, yeah, you get the gorgeous jasmine in the opening. And like I said, the dry down, the vanilla shines. My nose doesn't pick up the patchouli, nor the, um, nor the sandalwood, but hey, Again, these are first impressions. I'm gonna spend some more time in it with him. My favorites might change, you know. So I mean, that's the thing with fragrances. Tastes evolve. So what I like might change in the future. What I hate, I might end up liking. Don't judge me for that, but that's how the game goes. But yes, sex and jasmine, amazing floral scent in the line. So as you've seen, seven scents in. There's something different for everybody in here. Like I said, I've been very honest about the ones I like and the ones that I don't like. But yes, out of the seven, three. I like three of them very much and a couple that are okay some I don't like at all so that's it for my first impressions of libertine fragrances I'm gonna leave a link in the description below go check them out if you're you know if you're tired of the designer sense or you know you're looking to branch into niche 
Sample pack is the way to go. Don't take my word for it. My word is in the gospel. I'm just a man with refined taste who's like spilling out his opinion. So um, <laughs> just go check them out, you know, invest in a sample pack. Let me know what you think. And yes, special thanks to Josh for these samples. Really appreciate them. Um, yeah, if you've tried this already, let me know in the comments below. My name is Jesse Abwaji once again. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, share it, subscribe to my channel. Just show me love. Until next time.